Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This uh, video is just gonna include both of the tutorial videos for coding the micro bit for grade six around flight and our drone utilization uh, project. So just to get started, you're just gonna open a Google Chrome tab and you're just gonna go to makecode.com. Uh, this is the website we always use just to get coding. It's free, students don't need to log in or anything like that. And then you'll look for the middle option which has the picture of the micro bit and you will click that. Once you do that, it'll open you up to a new space, which is to, on the far left-hand side, you will see a purple text box with the addition symbol, which just says new project. So we're gonna click that. And this first one, you can call it whatever you want. Um, I might just call this code one, just for now. Uh, so type in anything within the text box, and as soon as you're done, you can just hit the green create button, and that'll hyperlink you to the next page. So once you uh, click on that, we're gonna auto-populate our block and many of you have uh, used this before. So we might not need all of these steps, but for now, um, all we're going to do is we're going to code um, an acceleration graph. And our hope here is that the students will be able to uncover how acceleration works in the micro bit. And in the lesson, we're gonna really be going through um, the difference between acceleration and force, and then they're gonna have a STEM design challenge to actually mimic and play with these a little bit. So you can keep both your on start and forever blocks, but what the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to see if we can get a number valuation around acceleration. So can we quantify it? So let's click on our blue basic drawer. And when you click on that, you'll grab the first block show number because we're trying to teach the computer to teach us a number. So we'll grab this and it'll have zero. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our fuchsia colored input drawer. And we're gonna go down and scroll down until you see the little circular block and you'll see the acceleration uh, bracket MG there. So we're gonna take this circular block and you're gonna slowly drag this over top and line it up with the left-hand side of the zero because it'll just fit right over top. And when you've done it correctly, you'll see you'll line it up and it's safe to drop in. So now this is gonna give us a quantifiable number of acceleration. We'll probably start with the X axis, but just so you know, if you click the little drop down arrow right next to the X, there's the X, there's the Y, there's Z, and there's strength. We'll go through this in the lesson, and we really want students to uncover this. So this first little part for code will not be that difficult. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move our forever block underneath. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the purple LED blocks in order to see if we can graph this result. So I'm gonna take the plot bar graph of zero up to zero, and I'm gonna place it inside my forever block. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my just the purple acceleration block. And if you two finger tap or right click, you'll see that there's a duplicate option. We wanna duplicate this block and place it right over top of this first zero. So that means we're also going to graph acceleration. So we're gonna graph acceleration on the micro bit. And just so you know, the scale on the micro bit for acceleration is ranges from zero, meaning no acceleration, up to a max possibility of 1,023. So that is being as fast as we can possibly quantify on here. Now what happens is in, in the X axis I actually move, look, you can actually see that it'll actually change my acceleration. If I move X on the X axis, which is just like in two dimensional space, you can see that we do this. So at this point, we'll get students to download their code and then we're gonna get them to see if they can change the different axes and see what happens when eventually we get to Z and the strength level. So that is really our first coding task that we have to do. Um, now we are going to get to our second task, which is a little different. So I'm going to just click on my um, micro bit logo in the upper left hand corner just to start a new project. And then I'll start a new project. And just because I called the first one code one, why not call this one uh, code two? Same thing, just click on the new project, give it a name, and then hit the green create button. And it'll work uh, very similar to what we did uh, last time. Now, because we're dealing with grade six and efficiency of code, we really want to try to highlight um, some of the core elements within like what they have to do, which is around conditionals. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll delete this on start block. We don't need that. So click on the on start block 
and drag it over top of the drawers. You'll see that little garbage icon and simply let go. And we want to measure acceleration forever because what's going to happen in this task is students are going to do a design challenge where they take their micro bit and drop it onto a pillow. And we're going to ask that they hopefully can either um, reduce the amount and slow the descent of force because that's really what you can do. Or if we're talking about the force impact, if they can brace the ending. So we are going to then use a conditional. So we find our conditionals in the teal colored logic drawer. Click on that and at the um, this right under the top, you'll see conditionals. Scroll down to until you see the if true then else block. And you'll click this inside the forever loop. Now you're gonna click on your teal logic drawer again. And then you're gonna scroll down to comparison. Oops, you're scroll down to comparison. Uh, and you'll see at the very top under comparison, there's a zero equals zero block. Let's take that and place it right over top of the true, just like we did in the previous coding task, line it up from the left. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use um, acceleration as something, the thing that we're measuring. So let's click on our input drawer again. We'll scroll down till the um, acceleration one more time, and we'll grab that and place it over the first zero, which is on the left-hand side. So once you place that in, we are this time going to get them to analyze all the different acceleration. So rather than only the acceleration in one axis, we're gonna get them to measure acceleration moving in all directions, including three-dimensional space. And how you do that is click the little drop-down arrow right next to the X, and we're gonna use strength. And we'll talk about the difference in this session, but this is what measures all acceleration on the micro bit. So in this first one, we want to make acceleration less than a certain number. So can you click the little drop down arrow in the middle and change this sign to a less than symbol? So if acceleration strength is less than, and we're gonna type in 300. So that means if acceleration is less than 300, and remember that scale from zero to uh, 1023, that's relatively slow. So if it's slow, we might do something like uh, grab a show icon and put a happy face because that means whatever's dropping, in this case, like a food item or something, our item is most likely gonna be safe. So we'll give a happy face, but we also want students to see that number. What is the number that it actually is doing? So we're gonna click on our blue basic drawer, grab the show number zero again, place it right underneath the happy face, and then let's duplicate this acceleration strength block. And then really, We'll place that over the zero. And now we're just gonna repeat this pattern. But before we do that, the one trick here is, see underneath the else, we need some more conditionals. So right underneath the else, you'll see a little plus sign or an addition icon. Can you click that? And once you do, we like to really be efficient in grade six and start like learning these skills. So I'm gonna highlight the acceleration strength uh, less than 300, this whole like trapezoid shape. And I'm gonna duplicate that whole shape and I'm gonna drag it right down over top. But now instead of acceleration being uh, less than 300, we're gonna up it to 600, meaning, ooh, the acceleration is a little faster. We're like, we're, we're going fairly quick now, but it's not too dangerous. So maybe we're gonna grab a new icon. So click on your blue basic drawer, grab another show icon, but this time, instead of uh, like a happy face, we might be like slightly concerned. So like you can see the different faces, you can make whatever you want. This one's kind of a silly face. I might use this one because it kind of looks like, I know it says asleep, but it's kind of like meh, I don't know. And then all I wanna do is make sure that we're always um, highlighting the number. So we're gonna click on the show number acceleration, uh, two finger tap or right click, and we're gonna duplicate that again, and it'll fit right underneath my else if. Now the last one, I, I actually like to add, I, I like to hit this plus symbol to make this an else if again. So I'm gonna hit this plus symbol one more time and I'm just gonna duplicate just like we did previously. So I'm gonna highlight this uh, trapezoid shape, duplicate it, move it down one row. Oops, and I kind of got that out. And see, this can actually happen to you too. So it's actually nice that it kind of happens. And this time though, we need to account for what happens when acceleration is greater than a certain number. So this time in the middle, um, where we had the less than, click this and change it to if acceleration is greater than, and we're gonna type in the number 900, meaning it's almost at max capacity. So it's speeding up very quickly. 
this is going to be problematic because this probably means that whatever we're dropping is going to break. So we now need to create an icon that reflects it. So click on your blue basic drawer, grab another icon. You could do a sad face. Uh, I'm going to grab an X just because that's kind of like a test of like, oh, well, we've kind of failed. And once again, for the third time, I am going to duplicate my show number acceleration strength. Make sure they're all consistent because if one of these is X, Y, you're not measuring the same thing each time. And then the very last step before we're done is you'll notice that there's nothing in my else block because I've already accounted for all of like the measurements. I'm just going to hit this little minus symbol right here across from the else and it'll make my code so it's nice and tight and set up correctly. This is all the code we're going to go through in the session. Um, students can experiment and extend beyond this if they need during the session, but we hope this gives you enough context for what you're about to see. Uh, thanks so much for joining us and we can't wait to connect with you in your classes.